Give up. Something I can use to get up there. <laughs> oh. Not your average elevator. Tonight. After everything has happened. It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Okay, I'm getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? I got that I got briefcase that brief we lifted from William, from William Joyce's, Joyce's car. car. Laid out Laid the out contents, contents in the trailer. trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants to. Huh. I think there's no power to the lock. Okay. Hello. 
trailer. Looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. There wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack? Don't do anything. Jesus! Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Yeah, it'd take a while to see that kind of bad. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there. But it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks and answer it. Hey, it's
for his men to move some stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh shit. He, he never tried to stop it. told you what he did in that workshop at ground zero no never he hid that part of his life from me nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there and even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later it's the only way forward absolutely no entry I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? What, what the hell? hell? What, is, what this? is this? That already happened. Copper-clad Niobium Well... There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but... He was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from. It surrounded me. Puzzle. Trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant. His career. Obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there... It never failed. It works. It works. Me and my grant extended another year. Please, please, don't do this. Don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. Huh. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul.
There was something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Stutters were getting bad. Me shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did. <laughs>
Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. I ride my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people? 